first off, I want to say what an amazing experience today has been for me. Um, I'm an ally of the community and um, I want to share a little bit about my experience as an ally, um, why I'm so passionate about everything that you we're fighting for, everything that we're demanding space for, everything that we're demanding to be heard. Um, my country of the Philippines is one of the biggest Catholic nations in Asia and we're predominantly ruled by the church and the beliefs that are instilled within religious sectors. Um, I have been an ally um, for the most of my adult life, um, not even because I saw the injustice that was happening to the community, but because my really close friends are from that community and I saw them first as humans before I heard about their challenges and their problems and all of a sudden because of that connection I had to them, because it was humanized to me, I knew that I had to be drawn along to what they were fighting for. How can you care about someone and, and turn a blind eye that they're not safe, that they're being discri discriminated against, that they're facing so many challenges and are often isolated and alone? Um, today I did post um, about this event and it's not the first time that I've experienced this kind of um, outrage on social media. It's happened a previous month before where I also took part in a panel discussing about LGBTQIA plus um, issues where um, I was mostly attacked um, and made comments to um, saying how can you be saying you're a Christian and support the LGBTQ community. How can you um, love God and love these people? There were people saying like, you can pray for people, but doesn't mean that you can support them. And it just made me realize that so many people are conditioned from their human experience, which means they're brought up in families, they're brought up in communities and churches that instill this type of belief on them. and what they need is to take part in discussions like this that humanize it for them. And that's why I think it's an amazing pr privilege that we all have here today to be able to talk about all these things in this way. Because a lot of times out there in the real world, we're met with so much confusion. Um, so many people who are, are silenced by fear, fear that they don't know the proper terminology, fear that they're not completely informed, or maybe they are emotional and they're speaking from experience, but don't have every angle of it. And so I've just really, felt so lucky to be here today because I feel like I've learned so much and I feel like that's what allies and every single person needs to hear your experiences and to be able to talk about the issues in this way because that's how we learn from each other. And too often in everyday life we don't get the opportunity to speak like this. So I just want to thank you um, for the contribution that you're giving not only to this com campus community but also that you're so educated and you're so passionate and well-informed that you're bringing it home to your families and you're bringing it to your peer circles. And that's really, really <coughs> important because that's how we create that ripple effect and gain greater understanding. So thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you to Activate. Thank you to everyone who organized this, to Tammy, um, also to Stephanie for having me here. Um, it's been a great, great honor um, hearing from you all. And I know that I will go back to the Philippines and to whatever country that I go to with a greater understanding and knowledge of what we're all fighting for. And it's not just your fight, it's all of our fights.